What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we are going to be bringing you guys another episode of the What Players Wear on the Field series, and today's player is going to be Bucks linebacker, Devin White. Before we get into the video, leave a comment on who you guys want to see featured in the next video. We do look at these comments, and they are part of the reason why we choose the players we do, so let us know right now who you guys want to see next. Just in case you guys need a little refresher about what we do in these videos, we take a player, this episode is Devin White, and we talk about their gear head to toe. So I'm going to tell you guys pretty much everything I know about the gear, what the product is, what colorways they wear it in, why they wear it, and where you guys can even get it for yourself. We're going to kick things off by starting at the top, which means it's time to talk about the helmet. Since his freshman year at LSU, Devin White has been wearing the Riddell Speed. The Riddell Speed is officially an outdated football helmet now that there are two new Riddell helmets that have come out after it, the Speed Flex and now the Riddell Axiom. Despite being one of the oldest helmets still on the field, it's still a pretty good option. The Speed is one of the lightest helmets in football, weighing only 3.7 pounds, and it still scores a 5 out of 5 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale. Now, its safety doesn't quite compare to some of the newer stuff in the league, but it's still good enough to get the job done, and the NFL hasn't banned it yet. The Speed also really seems to have a very loyal fan base. For example, Aaron Donald, it took forever for him to switch it out. OBJ loves the helmet, and now Devin White is still in it, even though this helmet dropped over 10 years ago. These are a sharp looking helmet. I have mine right here and I think it looks pretty good. I think it was pretty modern when it released. So I think it fits in pretty well with the helmets that are out now. But if money was no option, I think I would go with something a little bit newer with a little bit more technology like the Speedflex, the Vice Zero Two or the Shut F7. Either way, it looks pretty good on Devin White. And it's kind of hard to picture him in anything else because he's been in this helmet for so long. If you guys want to go get a Speed for yourself, Riddell still has them on their website for just under $400 in a couple different models, so go check it out if you guys want one. Also, just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video, every single product we talk about will be linked in the description where you find the closest thing to it, so you guys can literally shop Devin White's locker and get all the same gear he wears. Next thing we're going to talk about is the face mask. On his Speed, Devin White wears the S2EG-II-SP face mask. This code basically means that the face mask has some eye guards up here and then a couple extra bars in the middle lower part of the face mask. This is a great pick for linebackers because it does give you a little bit more protection, but it doesn't sacrifice too much visibility. If you guys want, you guys can grab this face mask from Green Gridiron for only 40 bucks right now. It's on a huge sale, so go grab it if you guys have a speed and you want to get this face mask. Next thing we're going to talk about is visors, and Devin White has worn two different visors so far through this season. The first one he has worn, he's only worn in pregame, and that's going to be the Oakley Pro Visor in the 24K Prism color. This is a tinted visor from Oakley and has a beautiful gold appearance that looks pretty good with the Bucks uniforms. A visor is a great way to give your eyes some extra protection, block out the sun, and also look pretty cool. White is also using the Under Armour unbranded quick release clips to help secure the visor onto his helmet. If you guys want to get this visor for yourself, you guys can grab it from Green Gridiron for 100 bucks. Link below. Now, the second visor for game time, he is swapping out that gold visor for the Oakley Pro visor in their clear prism color. This is Oakley's prism tint, which is that slight pinkish tint that you guys can see in the visor. This technology is meant to sharpen your vision and enhance your detail recognition. And again, it'll help protect your eyes from turf, pellets, or even fingers. If you guys want to grab one of these visors for yourself, Green Gridiron has them for 80 bucks. The final piece to Devin White's helmet setup is going to be his chin strap cover, which is a Drymax chin saver. This is a super simple accessory. It's just a little sleeve that slides over onto the chin part of the chin strap. This cover is going to help wick away some of that sweat and help prevent that awful chin acne. It's a pretty subtle accessory, but it's obviously needed for Devin White. He's worn some sort of chin strap cover since his freshman year at LSU. If you guys want, you can grab a Drymax chin saver in a two pack for 16 bucks from their website linked in the description below. Next up, it's time to talk about shoulder pads. Devin White wears the Riddell CPX pads and he has been in these shoulder pads since LSU. And when I say he's been in the same pads, I mean he literally took these shoulder pads from LSU to the NFL with him. If you guys look closely, you'll notice that the padding on the shoulder pads is actually purple and gold, which is a really dope little detail. It's very common for NFL and college guys to have custom shoulder pads, so each little detail is tapered exactly to their liking. So it's also pretty common for NFL guys to take their college pads with him, just like Devin White did. He also wears a rectangle backplate with a Get Live Stable sticker on the backplate. Devin White loves horses and he loves his football, and that's kind of a theme you guys are going to see pop up throughout this video. If you guys want to get a pair of the Riddell CPX shoulder pads, Riddell has a complete customizable option available for $600. Next thing we're going to talk about is the arm sleeve. On game day, Devin White is always rolling with a McDavid padded arm sleeve on his left arm. These sleeves are honestly my personal favorite because they're super comfortable. The padding does a good job kind of absorbing that impact when you hit the ground. And then the rest of the sleeve does a great job protecting you from that awful turf burn. This is just another super simple, subtle accessory, but it looks pretty cool and it works great for Devin White. 
McDavid has these sleeves on their site for 25 bucks, linked below. It's time to talk about one of my favorite accessories in all football, the gloves. We've seen Devin White wear three different pairs of gloves so far this season, but we're going to start with the Jordan Superbad 6.0. Now, he's only worn these a couple weeks, but they have been incredible. Since Devin White is a Jordan brand athlete, he has the opportunity to meet with the Jordan brand designers and basically design a totally custom glove custom to him. For his Superbad 6, he has worn some pretty cool Buccaneers colorways. We saw a pretty simple white, red, and orange colorway, and then my personal favorite is the pewter and orange pair. These gloves have some pretty dope palm designs. You have his number 45 in the Buccaneers logo, kind of like a cool pattern throughout the entire palm. Also, just a quick note, the Jordan Superbad 6.0 is the exact same glove as the Nike Superbad 6.0, just different branding. Devin White gets these because he is a special Jordan athlete, but they are not available to the public. That being said, the Nike Super Red 6.0 is an excellent option for linebackers because it gives you guys some awesome padding on the back of hand, which is going to help when you're filling gaps, making tackles, but then you have Nike's Magna Grip grip on the palm so you can still catch the football. Like I said, you guys can't get the Jordan brand Super Red 6.0, but you guys can buy the Nike Super Red 6.0 for $55 from Champs. The second glove we're going to talk about is what I think is Devin White's favorite, and that's going to be the Jordan Jet 4.0. Now again, these are a special Jordan version of a Nike glove, the Nike glove being the Nike VaporJet 4.0. The Nike VaporJet 4.0 is an old glove it released all the way back in 2016. Prior to signing with Jordan brand, Devin White would exclusively wear the Nike VaporJet 4.0 no matter what. He would not switch into the, any of the newer models. He's been wearing these since LSU and he really loves these gloves. When he joined Jordan brand, he actually had them remanufacture this old glove model just for him. So far, he's worn them in a red colorway and a black colorway. The black colorway has to be my favorite because of the subtle details. There is a 45 on the palm, and if you guys look really closely behind the 45, you guys will actually see the outline of the outsole of the Jordan 1 shoe. So sick. I personally wasn't a huge fan of the Nike VaporJet 4.0 when they dropped eight years ago, but now that I've seen them in these really cool Jordan branded colorways, they're honestly not that bad. If you're looking to get these gloves, they did release eight years ago, like I said earlier, so they are pretty scarce. So I definitely would recommend checking out eBay. Maybe you'll get lucky. The final pair of gloves Devin White has worn this season are the Nike VaporJet 7.0. So far, he's only worn them in one colorway, but they are a heater. These gloves are that Bucks pewter with red and elephant print on the palm. These are the latest gloves on the market from Nike slash Jordan, and they are my personal favorite gloves on the market. To put it simply, these gloves are the whole package. They're super comfortable. They look great. The stick on them is amazing. Nike's Magna Grip Plus palms are super sticky. It's kind of insane. Um, and they're just great gloves. If you guys want to grab a pair of the Jordan Jet 7.0, Champs has them for $55. And then you guys can also get the Nike version for only 50 bucks. Next thing we're going to talk about is his thigh pads. Devin White is wearing custom thigh pads from Treadcow. On these pads, he has his slogan, Get Live 4-5. And on the other one, he has his personal logo with a DW in a horse. Like I mentioned earlier, Devin White loves his horses, and this is another nod to that. And just in case you guys didn't know, Treadcal is a place that makes custom thigh pads. You guys want to design, number, letters, whatever you guys want, they can make those pads for you. And then when you guys put them in the pads, that detail, design, whatever you guys put, shines through, and it's just a great, subtle way to express yourself on the football field. If you guys want to get a pair for yourself, check out treadcal.com. Now we've made it down to the feats and Devin White has worn three different pairs of cleats this season. Most of the year, Devin White has been rolling with the Jordan 5 PEs. Now again, Devin White is a Jordan brand athlete, so this allows him to talk with the designers and cook up some crazy PEs. This also means he gets his Jordans with the Nike Vapor Plate. They pretty much can put whatever plate they want on those Jordans for him, which unfortunately the public doesn't have access to. We saw a couple more simple pairs in just kind of that nice box colorway. We saw a red and white pair with orange details, and then we also saw a pewter and red pair. Then he also wore some pretty crazy colorways as well. He wore some fives that the entire upper was some sort of animal print. Now I'm not sure, to me it looks like a cow print, but knowing his background with horses, I assume this has something to do with horses. Maybe it's a horse print. Um, either way, these are ridiculous. But now my favorite fives he's worn so far this season has to be the Supreme Desert Camo pair that he wore for week eight. These were hand painted by my guy, Mosh275, and they were fire. He's also worn a couple different pairs of Jordan 7s, which are equally wild. Again, he has a pair with this crazy animal print, but this time the accent color is orange, so they pop that much more. They even say buckaroo on the small little tab on the side of the cleat. Super, super sick detail. The other pair of 7s he's worn are more simple. Again, it's that nice pewter and red. These do have some elephant print panels and then an American flag on the side of the heel. 
The final pair of cleats a cleat he only wore for one game this season is the Jordan 1 Lowe's. He wore these in a super subtle black and white colorway, which is pretty subtle in comparison to some of the other stuff we just talked about. These are just super clean. And like I said, unfortunately, you guys can't get your hands on any of these cleats because these are PEs designed for Devin White, a Jordan brand athlete. Um, I wish we could all be Jordan brand athletes and get the vapor plate on our Jordans and get these crazy colorways, uh, but we just can't. But if you guys do want some sort of Jordan football cleat, I would recommend checking out StockX. They have a bunch of different models that have released from over the years. Um, and they're getting pretty up there in price, so I'd say act fast. There you guys have it. There's a full head-to-toe breakdown on Bucks linebacker Devin White. This was a super fun video to make. This guy wears a ton of really cool stuff, and the Jordan PEs are just on another level. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like this video, comment who you guys want to see in the next one, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.